Hey, Casey. I'm waiting for a story to happen. What story? A story told by story stones. Story stones? Mm hmm. Just stand here. It's about to start. And you're going to watch with us, right? So get your popcorn ready because it's going to start any minute. Here we go. Once upon a time, I took care of a seed and planted it. The seed grew with rain. The seed grew some more with sunlight. Now it grew into a tree and it takes care of me. That was beautiful. Yeah. Did you enjoy that story? We did too. So those are story stones? Yep, story stones. Story stones are short stories told by you by painting on stones. Moms, dads, and kids, it's time to get our hands dirty and artsy. Today's lesson is how to make story stones. How are we going? I'm so excited! The fun part about telling stories with stones is you can come up with your own story to tell. Mm -hmm. Or you can follow the shape of the stone and come up with a completely different story. But, Peter Robert, where do you get the stones? That's the exciting part. Moms, dads, and kids, it's time to go outside and hunt for stones. Okay, Tito Robert, I'll go outside and find some stones. Don't go so far, Casey, okay? Okay, All right. bye! You can find stones in your garden or your backyard, but the most important thing is to have along your mom and your dad when you go outside. Moms, dads, let's help our eye shiners find and collect stones. I'm back! Yay! Wow, you're a good stone collector. What would you like to paint? I'm going to paint a flower. Maybe you can paint the car. So we have two stones uh -huh. and we have acrylic paint. We're using acrylic paint so that when the stone gets wet, the paint won't run off. So we have a palette where we can put the paint. So we have just three colors. You don't have to use several colors. Wow, this looks like ice cream. The first thing that you have to do is imagine what you'd like to draw on your stone. Oh, I imagine mine. Let's start painting. Okay. I'm imagining to paint the flower. And it has yeah, a yeah. lot of colors. Add some water. And... Add some water, yes, very good. Um, Casey can really visualize what she wants. So I think we're done. Yeah. Next thing is we're going to come up with other stones. We'll put it all together, make it into a line, and you'll come up with a story, okay? So arrange them. Yes, arrange them. Oh, so that's how the story works. Yes. Take a look at the design on the stones. Just think what kind of stories you can tell. So this is a man with a beard. This one has glasses. Princess. A princess, yes. The princess kind of looks like a strawberry. A, yeah, <laughs> that's right. I'm so excited to hear her story. So the story is like this. Once upon a time, the mom said to her daughter that she had to go to school. This is the mom? Yeah. The little girl said she'll go to sleep right away and then the next day, she had to go to her car because she was a car rider. Beep, beep. And then, this was the driver. I'm the driver. <laughs> and then suddenly, they passed the garden of flowers. And then met very old boy and then passed the princess's strawberry um, castle. And then suddenly, they were able to go to school. This is the teacher. The teacher's task was to um, let the students find some people and then ask their names and make them become your friends. So the little girl met the old little boy. And I'm the old little boy. She had to um, help the boy carry some stuff and then they become friends and then met Mr. Potato Boy because his mustache was falling off. <laughs> she came back and told all of this to the teacher. The teacher said, you're good at making friends. Then she sent that note to her mother, and then mother was really happy. <laughs> wow, that's the best story I've ever heard. Good job. So this lesson is done. Did you have as much fun as we did? Great. So are you ready to use that imagination of yours some more? It's time for a task. 
The first thing you'll need to do is find stones. Medium size, shiny ones are fine. We'll need around four stones. You'll need to wash them, clean them, and dry them before painting acrylic. Now in painting, you'll have to use your imagination and more importantly, have fun. You'll have to video your eye shiner painting and telling a story using the stones. Upload the video right here and make sure the video doesn't go over three minutes. I'm ready to watch your story stone. So moms, dads, and kids, upload your videos as soon as you can. Till the next lesson, I'm Robert Alejandro. And I'm Casey. Telling all moms, dads, and kids to light up and nurture the gift with I Shine 5. Yay. That's really good, Casey.